Last, am I the asshole here? This, John, is a doozy. My wife and I have a son. Three, now here's, this is an important part of the details. 3M. Now, three in the Reddit world, that means three-year-old male. Three year old male. Yeah. In baby world, you do 3M, 6M, 9M. So that might mean three years old. That might mean three months. Okay. Keep, put a pin in that. Uh, he accidentally hurt one of my brother's kids, 2F, so two-year-old female. So that leads me to believe if he's doing the F, then the M is probably male. Yes. So it's a three-year-old, okay? It I wasn't serious. You. And also, I don't think how, how, how can a three-month-old hurt somebody? Right, okay. It wasn't serious. Everybody was fine. But my brother's wife said – oh, wait. Did I give the title? I didn't give the title yet. So my wife, 24, called my brother's wife, 25, his breeding bitch. So imagine that. Your wife calls the other wife the breeding bitch. So my wife and I have a son, three-year-old male. He accidentally hurt my brother's kid, two, two-year-old female. It wasn't serious. Everyone was fine. But my brother's wife said as soon as she saw it, control your kid. To be honest, it was a bit offensive. They were playing around. He accidentally tripped her. But I don't think if, I don't think she meant it in that way. She was usually very nice. Uh, I think it was just instinctive. My wife made a comment back like, well, at least I can watch mine. My brother's wife asked what she was implying, and from there it went out of control. My brother's wife said they can have so many kids, six, because they take care of all of them and are good parents. They are good parents, but there was a bit of an implication that we aren't good parents. So at this point, I make my second attempt to stop the argument. My brother wasn't in the room. My wife's turn to still ask what, was she, what she was implying, even though I'm actively trying to stop them. And my brother's wife says she's failing our kid by working. And that it's proven that kids with, uh, without stay-at-home moms suffer in all these sorts of aspects. Uh, my wife says my brother's wife is not a stay-at-home mom. She's my brother's breeding bitch. <laughs> my brother's wife started crying, and she rounded up the kids and left. Now my brother's wife is not right with what she said at all. Uh, now my brother's wife is not right with what she said at all. But breeding bitch was so horrible. Of course, I'm getting texts from my mom telling me that my wife should be ashamed of herself, and I'm defending my wife, but is there an approach to this? I want to tell her that she can't just say things like that. Um, Incels always end up making you the loser, but I want to say this in a way that makes it sound like I'm not siding with her. Now, people went off on the, uh, on the comments. Here's what's crazy. They asked some more details. The dude is 20, so he's got a three-year-old. So, like young right yeah very young. and then the but the brother is like 20 you know young 20s and has six kids oh this is just a white trash ass family so so <laughs> so so that's what i thought reddit of course for, reddit being reddit get an abortion you fucking loser <laughs> so reddit said this though they were like they, they reddit has run with this and they've decided it's like a, a religious cult yeah that these kids are trapped in a, in a cult it's too religious they just keep getting fucked and getting pregnant, and they can't abort them. Um, and then this is where it gets really, like, dark. So um, I explained to my wife, uh, and she agreed. They both needed to apologize together. They, they went – they got together. Uh, they apologized. It went pretty smoothly. They both recognized they were wrong. My wife felt like uh, saying control your kid was an insult. Sister-in-law didn't mean to be an insult. They, understand it. they understood the miscommunication. Hugged it out. My sister-in-law started crying again. And then my wife asked if I could leave the room. So they just had a private conversation themselves. Wife informed me later that the sister-in-law is pregnant again. Number seven. That's why she was so upset. She doesn't want to have any more kids, but apparently my brother does. So she hasn't told him yet. She oh, wanted, so she's a breeding bitch. She wanted to cap it at four. She's now on number seven. So this like started out as the semi the asshole thing and eventually became like this is a breeding bitch. Yeah. Like this is a breeding bitch and like we need like, to maybe band together and save her. Am I an asshole for calling the sky blue? No, yeah. you're not. This like, is a breeding bitch. She's been having kids since she was like 17 probably, churning out kids like every fucking Yo, year. Yo, imagine spending like a decade just fucking having kids. At that age too, it's like yeah, you know, at that age it's weird, but doing like, you know, 16 to 26 just popping out kids. Oh my god. Yeah, this is fucked up. This yeah, is fucked. This is a let's, dark Let's one. fucking get to the bottom of this yeah. and find this trick. Yeah. Cuz yeah, they are they are in trouble. What if they we are. did that? What if like we became like the Nev, Neve of Am I the Asshole? Like catfishes. Yeah. We'll, we'll track down these assholes and we'll save them. Yeah. Like, hey, breeding bitch. Yeah. We're here to take you to safety. <laughs> they bundle her up and run away with her and be like, you raised those seven kids yourself. This bitch is out on her own now. Goodbye. Hey, Hulk bitch. Your boyfriend's gay. <laughs> <laughs> We'd be heroes. Spotify. 
We did. Two gay guys <laughs> who run around the world <laughs> saving the assholes of Reddit. Yes. <laughs> we'll call it gaping assholes. <laughs> 96% of you motherfuckers watch these videos and aren't subscribed. Shout out to the 4%. You are good people. 4% of people are watching I our think clips. That's about, about what the, I, I would guess, the breakdown of good people demographics versus bad people. in the world. Yeah. Good people versus bad people. Probably about 96% to 4. That's but fair. be a good person. But it's not even, I'm not even asking you to be a good person. I'm asking you to push a button. Yeah, but, but, I'm asking you to click a button. Yeah, you, yeah, you can be a bad person still, but just click. You the can button. be a piece of shit. Just click subscribe. Ninety-six percent of you watch these clips, and they're like, "Oh my god, that was a funny clip from this podcast. I liked it." And I'm just not gonna help them out. The people who work to make it, the people who work to produce it, to post it, to upload it, and there's nothing from you. You're a bad person if you don't subscribe. Be a good one.